Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm going to make this ball bounce off these bats or appear to and uh, actually the ball it always moves in a constant speed in this tutorial in this demo as I mentioned before which doesn't look that impressive and it would look nice if it bounced with some acceleration but um, just for this demo I'm just going to be content if in the event of a ball colliding with a bat it bounces off it instead of proceeding through to the edge of the screen. So I'll go to game here and I I could give the ball a reference to the bats, both of the bats, and the ball could check the bats and change its movement appropriately. But I've already given the opponent bat a reference to the ball and I don't really want sort of circular type references in my games it's going to feel quite tangled so I think what I'll do is I'll figure out the logic here in update in game.java I'm going to ask I'm going to find out if the ball has collided with one of the bats and tell the, move, the ball to move as appropriate so I'm going to say if well let's say yeah if ball dot get screen wrecked so let's get the bounding position of the ball on the screen and, and then I'll say that if the left hand side of it in fact um, in fact let's just take this out for a second and let's say int ball um, no, I won't do that what I'll do is if okay sorry bear with me I will get the bounding rect of the players but let's do that for a start so I'll say if player dot get screen rect and this the the rec class has a method called contains which I'm going to use. So I'm going to say contains if player dot get screen rec dot contains and I want to get the the player is on the left hand side. It's the bat on the left hand side. So I want to find out if the let's say the center pixel of the ball on the left edge of the ball like kind of around here I want to know if that has collided if this is inside this rect so I can say if player dot get screen rect dot contains and the X I want to say ball dot get screen rect dot X that will be the X position that I want to check for and is that right or actually I need to say left left so um, and the Y position is going to be I want it to be this kind of the middle of the ball so I'm going to say get screen rec dot center Y so this coordinate the, the left hand edge of the ball and the center vertically that's the middle point of the left hand edge of the ball and I'm saying that if the player's bat contains that point on the ball then I want to tell the ball to start moving right so I'll say ball dot move right and I'll implement that I'll click on the error and go to create method and now I'm in the ball class and in there I'll just say direction x direction x equals 1 and that will set the ball moving to the right and while I'm at it let's just copy that and I'll put in move left and that will set the direction x equal to minus 1 which will move it to the left and I go back to game.java and in there I can say okay we check to see if the center point of the left hand edge of the ball is on the player's bat and if it is make the ball start moving right and I can say else if opponent dot get screen wrecked dot contains and this time the X will be ball dot get screen wrecked dot right and the Y will be ball dot get screen wrecked dot center y again so the vertical center of the ball again and I think this algorithm should work pretty well and I'll say ball dot move left if it intercepts the opponent's bat over on the right there 
Um, we also want to know um, what happens if the ball goes off the edge of the screen. So I want to say else if, and we're going to have to say something like um, if the ball dot get screen rect dot left if that's um, if that's pretty far over to the left then it means that the ball's got past the player in which case the player has lost this particular game uh, but what's the definition of um, if it's got past the player or not let's say something like um, if it's maybe um, well we're already checking to see if if the ball's intercepted the player's bat and so it, it could have bounced and if it hasn't if the left is less than um, player dot get screen wrecked dot right so if it's less than the right hand edge of the player then and this hasn't been executed so it didn't bounce off the player's bat then the player's lost so we, could, we can do something there like um, well let's just say for the moment log dot d and I'll put my initials in there and I'll say lost and then finally we can tackle the situation where the players won so if ball dot get screen wrecked dot right is greater than opponent dot get screen wrecked dot left then we say log dot d tag and one because the ball has got past the opponent and the player has won. Let's save that and run it. One, th one little thing that I'm slightly in doubt about is um, whether it might be possible somehow because the, um, the amount that the ball moves is irregular and the ball can sometimes move several pixels perhaps if a lot of times elapsed since last time the update was run. So is it possible that the ball could be heading directly for the bat? And no, I, I, th I think this should work actually, yeah. I was, I was trying to think if we should allow some sort of safety margin before we say that the game's been lost, but I think this will probably work. Let's go to DDMS and go to my debug output, clear all previous debug output, and now I'll move the bat. Well, let me show you this because otherwise it's going to be very boring for you. Uh, here's, here's the game. And you can't see it. It's not looking smooth because of the emulator. But you see that the ball's bouncing off the bat, so hopefully. And I'm going to bounce it back. And the opponent's trying to get it. And it did bounce off the opponent. And let me move the bat deliberately down. And we should see that though we go, we go, we get lost and we're getting lots of lost messages and the reason for that um, sometimes you get some one ones because the opponent misses it which is great we're getting lots of these messages because of course at the moment the ball just carries on even if the state should be lost or won and it just bounces back anyway so what we're going to do um, perhaps in the next tutorial is we're going to fix it so that when the game is lost or won we, we stop the game at least temporarily at that point and display some sort of appropriate message. So that's it for this tutorial and until next time, happy coding.